Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. If you're watching this on YouTube, would you go ahead and click subscribe? And that way you always know when I'm dropping a new episode and uh, the algorithm makes it such that other people can easily find my channel and, you know, learn and make better reads and become better musicians and people and oboists. So everyone wins in that way. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, resolutions or intentions because at the time, at the moment of this recording, it is January 6th, 2021. We are in a whole fresh new year about to, uh, you know, launch into this new year filled with possibility and optimism. And even though reads and read making is basically a sort of a squishy subject, right? There's a there's an objectivity, does this read work? But really the the thing that is interesting to us is the subjective measurement of is this read good? Good for me? Does it have the amount of resistance that I want? Does it have the response that I want? Um, and as much effort as I put into really taking the aspects of read making and breaking them down so that they are as objective and as non squishy as possible, um, still there's this element of like, what makes this read better than this read? And why is this one read, this orange read here, the magical one that I keep coming back to, whereas this yellow one over here is a read that I don't love, that I can play on but do not love. And okay, so acknowledging that all of read making is a little bit non-specific and that because reads are so very individual, one to the next, and because reads are made from an organic product, a plant really, um, that is always going to be just a little bit different from the next plant in line. Um, all of this being the case, still, I think it is possible to look back to measure where you have been and to look ahead and like identify where you want to get to. I feel as though I spent a lot of my life playing on reeds, which like were fine, they were fine, but I wanted them to be better, but it was never quite clear exactly what better meant um, and what I, what I actually needed to do to make them better. And things really started to get better for me with my own personal read making. Um, a, when I began making reads for other people, but B, when I began making this series of YouTube videos that you've perhaps been following for the last three or four years. Um, because in putting words on the aspects of read making, because in breaking down this process with like verbal words uh, so that other people could understand what I was doing, um, it made me get a lot smarter about what I was doing and a lot more systematic about what I was doing. And in Read Club two nights ago, Monday night, I asked people to just reflect back. What is the, what have your, what's been happening in your read making life over the last year? And what is, what do you want to happen going forward? And it was almost a little bit surprising to me how clearly people were able to articulate. Um, you know, a year ago, I wasn't playing on my own reads and now I am. A year ago, I sort of had uh, a very misty and confused ideas about what good read making actually was. And now I have clarity, um, for example. And furthermore, people were able to very clearly identify what they wanted to have happen for their read making in the next year, which is, in some cases, um, I really want to improve my read making odds. I want more of my pieces of cane to come to fruition as finished reads. Or I want my reads to have a bigger dynamic range. And I want to explore what that looks like. Or, um, I want to be, I, I want to have confidence when I pick up my knife that I know what I'm supposed to be doing to actually improve my read making. And those are actually really concrete things that you can measure, that you can uh, improve upon, and that you can pay attention to. Um, 
and we all know, right, that New Year's resolutions are things that immediately get broken, right? I'm going to lose 15 pounds this year. Well, I'm going to go to the gym every single day. Well, um, maybe, but oftentimes these resolutions sort of slide away. And so I guess what I would like to invite for you in today's video, in which I am not actually making reads for you, um, is is to have a little moment of reflection backward. Um, over the last year or so, over the last 10 years maybe, what has been going on in your read case, in your own personal read making? Are you really clear on the things that you're doing to make reads or is it sort of um, luck and happenstance every time you get a read that works? Um, and as you look forward toward the, the new year, rosy with possibility, um, what would make you feel like you had made progress? What, is there a, a milestone? Is there like a way that you would like your read case to look a year from now or to feel, or would you like your attitude towards your reads to be different a year from now? Is there a concrete thing that you could identify now that you would like to improve upon in your read making life. Um, and then finally, of course, how are you going to get there? And could I help you get there? I'm announcing now I'm going to be doing a free series of live read making sessions next week. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 12th, 13th, 14th next week um, over on Facebook. And I'm going to drop a link here in the uh, the description um, so that you can sign in, sign up for that and get, therefore, a, a handout and my replays and so forth all in your inbox. Very, very convenient. And my idea really is that I'm just going to break down my read making batch process process, my three day process, which you've seen in other videos on this site, I'm sure. But I will do it live so that you can ask me questions, so that you can really follow along, so that you can say, oh, Janet, will you slow that down so I can see it again? Because I am happy to help. And and my three-day non-neurotic read-making process basically is designed to um, make it easy to say, okay, look, I'm going to put in 10 minutes right now and then I will have a day one read finished. And it doesn't have to be an awesome read. It just has to meet spec. Here's what spec looks like for a day one read. Here's what spec looks like for a day two read. Here's how I get my day two read to a competent playing day three read. Here are some things that I can think about. And Honestly, I'm just trying to take some of the like angsty, I don't know what I'm doing energy out of read making. And um, if that appeals to you, please do go ahead and, and uh, register for that three day uh, free training. Um, or consider joining my Zero to Readmaker course, which will be starting at the end of the month, um, which will really like carefully, painstakingly, and lovingly take you through the entire process from uh, shaped cane all the way through to finished read, finished to the way you like it. Um, I think that is all that I wanted to say today. Um, do just a little bit of conscious reflecting on what is going on for you readwise and what do you want to have going on for you readwise. Um, consider showing up for my free training next week and as always, you can find me at my website, JanetIngle.com. If you wanted to order reads or cane or tools or reach out to me with questions or observations or anything like that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.